No more hugs and promise. So, no more hugs while you're trying to flex your muscles on us, man. Hold on. Wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Uh, let, me, let me get them biceps kind of pumped up. Just so we could flex our muscles. Jeez, man, that's like only two kilos. To be honest with you, that is, uh, that's my missus. Oh, that just shows you how strong I am. No. <laughs> okay, I, I promise I'm going to behave myself from now on as much as possible. And uh, let's have a chat with Al Tigre. Okay. If we want these cranky old guerrillas to help Libertad, we need Lucky and Lorenzo on board. So here's what we're going to do. Ever since Anton got obsessed with the cancer drugs and making Viviro, finding medical supplies for Lucky's clinic has been impossible. So I bribed a pilot to fly some in. When the supplies arrive, we tell Lucky they're a gift from Libertad, and boom, everybody's friends. Perfect plan, right? Well, it would have been if some hijo de puta didn't shoot down my chopper. Go get those supplies before someone else does, baby tigre. I don't like the fact he's calling us baby tigre all the time. It's like we are some sort of child. Like, come on, man. We just got to your camp. Give us a bit of respect, especially after the whole kind of roller coaster that it took us to get there in the first place. I don't know if you guys remember from the previous episode a couple of weeks ago. It was like Tom Cruise on Mission Impossible trying to get to him. Like, seriously. But either way, uh, let's accept it and track. Remember the three guerrilla principles. Always be moving. Always be on. And take your medicine is on it. Enemy before they kill you. Oh, look at Hold on, before we... Are Oh, look at that. We got more even chicken around here? I thought that's uh, to do with um, good old, um, what do you call it, previous cam. But it doesn't seem to be like it. It's like we got chickens everywhere. Yeah, let's go, Danny Rojas. And just in case you guys are wondering why I didn't post um, the last couple of weeks, I've been so ill with a viral virus. So literally, I can even move for a good week or so. And I've been off work as well. So um, yeah, it's, it's good to be back. i got to say, um, I've missed our playthroughs and I've missed being back on the channel. And I miss being a human being. Like... I don't know, man, but I've never had a virus before like that. And um, it just got me completely knocked out. It's my first time having a proper viral virus. So, yeah, that wasn't really fun. But big thanks to the hospital here. They've uh, they've sorted me out. In a nutshell. What? Okay, I think we need to deploy the parachute. I was just about to deploy the parachute, but that didn't seem to be quite fast enough. But I still can't get over how beautiful this game is. I I, I don't know why, but it keeps reminding me of um, the very similar nature of Red Dead Redemption 2 when we got lost in Cuba. Is it actually Cuba or Havana? I, I can't really exactly remember. What is it? But... Um, that's when Arthur Morgan hits uh, the ship. Not the ship. It was more of like the escape from the bank job in Red Dead Redemption 2 with Dutch and the gang. Um, but yeah, it's uh, bringing back some memories. And I keep, I don't know, man. Like I keep comparing this game and other games all the time with Red Dead Redemption 2 it's, it's becoming some sort of a disease like it's crazy oh yeah look how beautiful that is man parachuting I wonder what happens to our dog here no just parachute man what are you doing Danny Jesus Oh, 
oh, this is a restricted airspace. No shit. How's it going with those medical supplies? I'm working on it. Don't put off what you can do today. Because tomorrow can turn into yesterday. And by then it's too late. Yeah? I think you might need a nap, big guy. Might need a nap. And he might actually need a wife, man. He's got way too much energy, that guy. Not being disrespectful or anything, but, you know. Come on, Danny Rojas. We should have, like, more stamina than this. And this is the Sierra Perdida Supply Depot. Okay. This looks like they drop. What a mess. Yeah. Shit, I even forgot how do you tag enemies. Yeah, it's actually using the mobile, I just remembered. Que vola! Hey, tranquilo, amigo. We're la moral, and the leste is our land. Our land, our medicine. You practice that little speech? Yeah. This is property of libertad. Ha, ah, libertad. Knew you would come begging for our help. We should be fighting Castillo together. I'm Honron, second in command. Hola, mamusita. Tres, cuatro. What an animal. Name's Danny. Danny Rojas. Uh huh. Company! Over there! By the chopper! Shut her up! It's action time, baby! Oh, yeah! It's time to kill some gorillas. Hey, 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 easy. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, easy, buddy. The hell? It's only been like a good week or so. There we go. Where are they? Sorry, it's, it's, it's been like a good, I don't know, man. Good, obviously, two weeks not playing this, so trying to get the hang of things is getting, I don't know, a bit, a bit chaotic in here. I'm, I'm getting lost in words and shit. Here we go. We're getting there. Oh, road. And the aim assist is like completely gone at the moment. Hey, hey, easy, man. Is there any more? Oh, shit, the RGB guy. Come over here, man. Take that. Oh, that is so nasty. Really nasty. Right. Soldados coming from the west. Got it. Shall we try this bad boy? Oh. It's a bit a bit too much, no. Okay, that literally hardly touched her, so what the fuck was that about? Did you see that? She just went in the sky, man. No, she's with us. Easy, we can't be shooting every man and his dog. Come on, Danny Rojas. Yeah. Gotta get nasty, man. Gotta get nasty. Alright, get up, amigo. Anyone else here? There you are. Oh, be careful with these RBG guys, man. Oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh, they, they can't. I don't know, man. They're like, keep coming in and I'm getting burned and shit. Oh, I think they are having some sort of a trouble over there. Is that it? Actually, let me just get on top of that bad boy gun on top there. Look. See? That's going to solve a lot of our problems. Like, seriously. Well, I guess it's uh, victory. You've got talent, Libertad. But Yelena needs these supplies. We got wounded. Yelena's your boss? Yeah. She's gonna kick my ass if I don't come back with something. Well, Clara's gonna try to kick mine if I don't bring this to the Legends. Libertad wants the Legends of 67? <laughs> half of Yara things are dead. Oh, they're very alive. And half of La Moral things are full of shit. But I majored in history. They paid him blood to put Anton's papa in his grave. Tell you what. You give me the supplies, I'll introduce you. Ah, coño. Yelena's gonna kill me. But at least I got to meet the legends first. Now, Danny, you get us a chopper. Then we can talk supplies. Welcome to La Moral. Libertad. Whatever. Libertad. Um, just on a bit of a side note... I can do that. Danny Rojas, the way he talks, his voice, just reminded me of Al Pacino in Scarface. You know, just got that Cuban Miami accent. A bit kind of too sexy for our liking, you know, but it's more of like that mobster touch with the accent. I, I don't know why, man. You know. By the way, I need to destroy the anti-aircraft cannon before I can fly. Or is there like some sort of a horse over here or something? Just collect everything we could actually get. Ooh. Every people what is here? Once it was the Greeks, then the Romans, the Franks, the English, what is that? the Yankees. You get it? No. It is our time. It is time. So, we'll get a horse. Bit of a shame we only got one horse, man. Jeez. Um. Let's rock. Let's go, amigo. Let's go through the beautiful fields of Yara. You know what they could have done so, like, beneficial in the game? Mm. If they had some sort of a road mapping that the horse could just follow and take you to one of your destination after you select it. I know we got three here, but obviously even with the one destination, there isn't some sort of an auto riding or auto horse kind of the driving sort of a thing. I hope that kind of makes sense. But yeah. Let's follow the road. Oh, now we are following the road. No road to follow. Looks like a good place to raise a family. That's even got me more confused. But anyway. Oh, I thought he, I thought he's like a bloody uh, soldier, man. It's crazy. Bit of music going on. See you later, suckers. Where, where is he going? Okay, that's done. No, we're not entering as a passenger. They're monitoring the Danny. Better stay grounded here. Oh, can we? Who's flying that thing? Pilot, watch. That's crazy, man. Shit! 
Oh shit, bot. Make sure you're not on the Oh, oh. Well, that, that is. That was. No comment. Just no comment at all. Here we go. We're a few meters away from the next destination. Okay, I think this is going to be well guarded. Hey, 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 hey. I'm, I'm here in peace. I wanted to use a sniper, but that's not happening. Oh, I hate these. Whoever they are, with the armor. Shit, everybody's on me, man. Oh, tranquilo. Tranquilo. Go, that's all our armor gone. Actually, I, I have a, a, a really good solution. If I take off here, they'll shoot me down. Here we go. Identify yourself immediately. Can I just not shoot anymore? Seriously, Konyo. I need, I need a bloody, uh, another way to shoot this plane down, man. Why the hell I didn't get, like, some sort of a bazooka as a weapon? I just thought of that. What are they actually shooting at? Let's see what we got here. Some gasolina. Let's see what's on top. There's got to be like some sort of a gun we could use. We can't even use that cannon, can we? No, we can't use it. Can we use this? Wait a second. Please tell me I could use you. No. Mm, this is proper annoying. Do we need to like so out oh, this like whole I don't know Okay, that's kind of solved the problem. What we didn't destroy is this. So... Just burn it all the way up, or what? Oh, actually... Hold on, hold on. Let, let's try this. Bingo. That worked very well. All right, so now we need to bring back a helicopter to airlift the supplies. And we need to enter as a driver. I wasn't sure. Did we destroy the previous helicopter that was there? Maybe that's why we had to go back and pick one up. But hey ho, we, we kind of destroyed every single anti-aircraft so we should be quite good to go with no disturbance at all Are we 
got to always remember, we don't need to uh, parachute our way down. I'll take it slightly nice and slow. Oh, is that meant for us? It's got to be. They, they're telling us to land in nice and slowly. Every soldado in Yara can see you. I bet. All right, let's move. Vamos. Are they going to lift it up or are we doing the heavy work? Danny, you got the supply. <gasps> Palapinga, el tigre. Beast of the revolution. You gotta sign my pants. Como se llama, señorita? Honron. Eh. I'm with La Moral. Uh. La Moral? Terroristas. Honron, this is Lore. I know who he is. I think the word he's looking for is guerrilla. You're not guerrillas. You're a street gang. At least we're not hiding on the mountain while the world goes to shit. Have you seen what's going on down there? Go, check out a Biovida facility. I dare you. The legends don't take orders from anarchists. Entiende? Enough, Lorenzo. <gasps> no, you know what? Fuck you. La Moral is keeping these supplies. This is our revolution, not yours. A farmer got caught in the crossfire today. Took a bullet in the stomach. Without this, he won't make it to tomorrow. Lucky mama. A lot of the bullets I pull are from La Moral. There is a difference between playing with guns and fighting La Revolution. El Tigre. Sí. She has a point. She definitely has a point. They're big on lectures. If these abuelos want to live in their museum, whatever. I can leave Puerta. Or maybe I borrow some souvenirs. Talk to me when you got a minute. Okay. If you say so. And this is Take Your Medicine. Yeah. Right, looks like we need to go and meet Clara in Esperanza. For some reason, the whole game just kind of froze a little bit, then it just came back. But, let's have a look. Where the hell is that? So, basically, President Castillo is delivering a speech on the anniversary of his election. Find your way into the hotel and end the monster's life. Okay, I'm not entirely sure this is going to go down very well. Taking the Presidente himself. Oh, cool. This is going to be one hell of a challenge. Well, I guess the best way we could do it, if we hit the road. Oh, we got new photos. Oh. Looks like we're heading down there. That's cool. Um, how do we even get out of here? It would have been really handy if we had some sort of a helicopter on speed dial. But before we hit the road, is there any kind of workbench over here? Maybe... Hold on, let's get back to camp. I want to see if there is a workbench before we hit the road. There's got to be, like, surely. I've got our next move. Go on the map. Zoom in. Oh, there it is, the workbench. Just want to see what kind of weapons we could upgrade What's up? or if we got any upgrades at all here we go primary weapon we got our badass rifle but interesting enough maybe we could use our primary weapon two to have something a bit more powerful We've got a shotgun here. I'm not entirely sure if we used this before. Oh, a sniper rifle. 
Actually, we'll have a, a sniper rifle. Just in case. Uh, how do we equip this? Oh, it's already actually equipped in primary three. Okay. Sorry, I, I completely forgot for some reason. But since this is not really doing a lot of... Um, some sort of a good job for us. We'll have a secondary rifle. Just because we keep like losing on ammo all the time. And for the Supremo, we got a new one. So what does that really do? Create chaos by launching poison gas. Now we'll keep the one that we have in terms of the rockets. Uh, maybe. Now we'll keep that pistol. What we got here? Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that pistol look. We'll take that. And ride weapons. This is interesting. Um, there's not a lot we could actually equip it. Can we? No. Why we cannot equip these yet? Oh, they don't match up with the ride. Okay. Can we trade materials? Let's trade all. No, this is the medicine. Let's get some pesos in here. Because once we trade all of these, maybe after doing this mission, we could just buy new guns. And that's that for the workbench. Well, that just gained us 293 um, pesos. Let's make sure this is marked again. Jeez, this is like really all the way down there. It's already a tract. However, is there any way we could fast travel? Oh, it doesn't look like it. So we are here. However, however, I have an idea. So if we airdrop here and probably just take the boat, that, that is a good idea. Deploy parachute. What? Why are you panicking, man? Easy, Danny Rojas. <laughs> Oh, while we're here, we might be able to um, get ourselves a new rifle. ¿Qué tal? Hola. Nice wheels, perrito. Look at him go. Hola, amigo. Is that the guy? Yeah. See what we could buy off you. Purchase. Um. Ooh. BBSMG. That looks uh, pretty ghetto. I'm not really sure like I feel buying any kind of clothes because we we're not like playing in a third person sort of a thing because we don't we don't really see Danny unless he goes in camp. So choices, choices, choices. It's got a good rate. Let's purchase it. Just for you. Uh, and actually, got that, that. Oh, this is the one we, we, um, actually started the game with. We'll probably change it. Let's go to the workbench. Uh, do, 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 do. Here we go. Whoa, look at that bad boy. <laughs> um, let's call the water vehicle. Oh, they could have just parked it a bit closer. Like, 
Seriously. Wait, 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 wait for the dog, man. Dog, you coming or not? Maybe he's not comfortable with being on a boat. Oh man, oh man, it looks like we are in the city. I'm feeling very tropical now. This is the place. Well, it looks like it. Let's put our gun down. Heard you got a spot on the night shift. Is that the password? Rule 23. If you have a chance to cut or cut the head off the tyrant, you fucking take it. Juan Cortez. Chorizo, come. Yeah, where is Clara? Hola, amigos. Coño, you were born to do this. Have we been here before? No, maybe all the rooftops are very similar. My bad. We place explosives here, here, and here. Speed starts, charges detonate, we create a ring of fire around that hotel hotter than the devil's asshole. Which means? Castillo's forces can get out and reinforcements can get in. With Danny right in the middle. And then what? Danny kills El Presidente. It's beautiful. Hey, Danny. Danny! Look at that sexy Supremo! You want me to kill Anton Castillo? Today. Anton is giving his annual Independence Day speech at the Hotel Paraiso. Live. Juan has intel on the exact location of his security detail. One in a million opportunity. We're gonna cut the head off the snake and make boots from his skin. Mierda. And you're good with this. Kill a dictator who has raped our land and turned our people into slaves? Thinking about it. What about you? Never killed a president before. <laughs> it's an assassination, Danny! It's guerrilla meth! Christ, I need a shower. And you need this. You gotta love Juan Cortez, man. You're gonna be a fucking guerrilla legend! I call you! <laughs> He's too excited. He's right. Kill Castillo and Libertad will rise in the chaos. And after that, who knows? Who knows? Go put that come mierda down. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Chorizo, come here. So we need to plant explosive at the checkpoints. Okay, um, One and well, we're just going to rock up with the Suprema and everything is going to be cool. The explosives at checkpoints. Find the generators. They pop real nice. Okay, okay. How do I trigger them? You don't. Clara and I have guerrillas out planting bombs all over Esperanza. It will be a Semtex symphony. You're on the tuba and I am the conductor. Vamos, Danny. I can't keep up with your metaphors. Amigo, tranquilo, man. Oh, I wanted just to... Yeah, like, slice him up. How the hell am I meant to... go there without killing anyone? Leave, now. Amigo, tranquilo, man. I knew it. Where the hell are they? Oh, shit. No. I'll put that away, Danny. Leave the dog alone, you asshole. What have we got here? Ooh, RMS 18. 
I'll take that, baby. Don't get out of the way, please. One of our soldiers. One of our fighters. Too easy. Yeah, that's what she said. So how are we going to get around this? We just go through. Some gasolina. That's a whole clip on one soldier, man. We got a whole like tank up there. Always got that solution. Did that hurt the tank or not? Oh, at least the tank is not shooting at us. Damn it. Why are you shooting like on the garden? Oh. How oh, you like that? I'm a bit shocked that the tank didn't even move. Maybe there's no one inside it. Well, that, that's always a bonus, regardless. Some fireworks for our anniversary. Got an idea. Try and stop me now. <laughs> now, can you not switch seats? Oh, oh, I like that. Not. Can't even go through here, this shit. Okay, I think it's time to get out. So bloody blocked. See you later, my friend. Right, that's the last bomb. Juan, the packages have been dropped off. You sound like a fucking postman. Just say A1, I planted the bombs. I sent you a photo of where you can find me. On my way. I'm on the rooftops in front of the hotel. If you forget what I'm like, just look for the father figure you always wish you had. I think you mean drunk uncle, Juan. Hey, I'm six hours sober. Don't jinx it. Wow. You should have brought some vodka for you just in case you get thirsty. Go the other way around. <laughs> Looks like a ghost town. It's like nobody's here. Oh, there's a dog. Hello, dog. You're chilling. Hey, sorry man. I don't like killing dogs, but I didn't have much choice. It's 
Stop shooting you asshole. I don't like this. Hello, doggy. And just avoid any kind of attention. Hold on. Stay strong. What the? Come back. Getting close to one. Oh, we need to get on the rooftop. Hey, Danny. So, forget the plan or just don't care? Fuck the plan. I'm going in. That is both fucking reckless and fucking stupid. I love it. Enough charges have been set. Ready? PTSD for everyone. Hotel's all yours, Danny. Get in there and don't come out without Castillo's head. Seriously? Here he is. <laughs> what? Select an amigo? No, I'm just gonna use the zip line. Um Where's the people on the guard? You would expect like he's heavily guarded. Well, I really don't like this man. Really don't like this. Uh oh. Sorry, Chirizo. Secure the hotel lobby. Excuse me, sir. Well, that was just fucking pointless, wasn't it? Man, I, I need some... Some backup. I'm like on my own over here. Okay, uh, I, th I think we need to re... We think a lot of our elements over here now. Or our techniques. Me papa, welcome the world. Bro, stop shooting at me. Oh shit, there's a grenade. Just get up there, quick. Left us with ghosts. Take that, you asshole. What are you talking about? She's exploding. Bodyguards are getting murdered. He was and he's murdered. still giving that stupid speech. The man has some bodies. Why don't you bring them to me? That was the envy of the world. A paradise that would be for future generations. Hold on, hold on. Come over here. I have the same I finally understand me. You elected me to be in paradise. Let you burn. The demand for the city and embraces our past. How you like me now? I love this gun. I don't know why, but I just love it. But now 
Anyone else? The stakes are much higher. Time to catch that elevator. The fake Yanans are Which one exactly? To me or you. The first threat to Yara's very survival. When you elected me, you elected Where would I find the key? And the truth is simple. There are no second chances. Yara must produce Viviro. And only Viviro. More Viviro than ever before. And if I just like search every guy in here. One destination. Failure. Collapse. Poverty. Or maybe here. Oh, here it is. Got the key for the penthouse. Oh, yeah. But I promise you this. While these fake Yarans may spread chaos, confusion, and noise, I will be right here with you to defend Yara. To defend Paradise, no matter the cost. Oh, no, that's... Fake Yarans. That's, that's harsh, man. To call me tyrant. Uh-oh. We're being watched. Danny, what's happening? Are you inside? I'm inside. Could it be the moment? Do you see Anton? Danny! There's nobody here. Clara, I think the speech was a recording. It's a setup. Anton's soldiers are coming for you. Get out of there. You were the one who got me on that boat. You should be dead. I was the lucky one. What's your name? Danny. And you? You know who I am. You're here to kill my father. Last I checked, you were trying to get the fuck away from your papa. I shouldn't have done that. Why? Because you were the lucky one. He's a monster, Diego. He was raised that way. And you won't be! You're not going to kill me! Depends if you fire that thing again. Amigo, tranquilo, man. If I run, he finds me. If he finds me, Yaren's gets hurt. Don't you get it? He'll never let me leave. How old are you again? Do you have family? No. You're looking for one Chamaco. You should leave Yara. He won't stop till all of you are gone. Mierda. Keep your head down. Oh. This way. It's not all straightforward, isn't it? Gracias. Hey, Danny. My papa is sick. That's why he's not here. What? That's just absolutely crazy. <laughs> Fight or run? I guess we're fighting. I'm over here. Let me slice you, bitch. Bonya, he's beautiful. Oh, look at that car. Oh, I should have been a driver for the president. See you later, suckers. Oh, Danny, where the hell are you actually going? Should be that way, innit? Yeah, let's hit the motorway. way. Jeez, we got no time for that drama. Clara, I made it out in one piece. Danny, what happened? How did you get out? He was a setup, but I got myself a little present. Castillo's right. Smells like old dictator. We didn't get Castillo, but we did some damage to his regime. Damage? You punched Anton's regime in the balls today. Go yeah. You earned it. Hey, do you ever hear anything about Castillo being sick? No. Why? Uh, I overheard some guards. Hmm. It's good intel. I'll be in touch. Every step we take gets us closer to a free area. Why he didn't mention he actually met his son? That's a pretty interesting twist to the game, I guess. 
Clara, I'm at the cathedral. Castillo's thugs have taken it over. Shit. One of the priests was sheltering some of our guerrillas. Father Diego's going to be a hostage now. I know what to do. Hold on, what are we actually doing? Where is El Tigre? Man, he's all the way down there. Alright, let, let's just fast travel and get back to the camp. And probably the easiest way to get back to the camp, if we want to speak to El Tigre, is uh, get ourselves a fast travel. You know what I mean? I've got our next move. Oh, have you? Those medical supplies will put a lot of guerrillas back together. Gracias. Lucky appreciates them too. Even if she doesn't show it. And bringing La Morale was smart. This camp needs young blood. Shakes things up. Now we need to work on Lorenzo. Half the abuelos out there hang on his every word. Honron said Lorenzo should visit a BioVira facility. But getting Lorenzo to do anything is like pulling a tank through the mud. Sideways. I'm going to give him a little reminder of what we stood for. And you are going to bring the BioVita to him. All you got to do is tiptoe in, take photographs of anything suspicious, and get out. For a so-called research facility, they have way more guns than lab coats down there. They're hiding something, baby Tigre. And we're going to slap Lorenzo in the face with whatever it is. He's pissing me off with this baby tiger all the time, but hey oh, we'll accept it. Good camera skills. What do you kids say? No filter? <laughs> no filter. Okay, amigo. Actually, I have a feeling we got some sort of a nice little helicopter just down there. Let's go to it. Then we could go to our destination. You done with them? I am never coming back here. I don't know what you're talking about. You're always going to be coming back here. Chill out, woman. Right. Vamos, Danny Rojas. Vamos. Look at that, look. We could have just parachuted our way down, though, by technicality. It's not 100% guaranteed we'll just land over there, but, you know, just uh, being very practical, helicopter is always going to be a good choice for traveling. We have a bogey and restricted... Oh, yo, yo, yo. Attention, pilot. Land now, or you will be fired upon. What happens if we just all the way down? Let's get out. I'm parachute time, man. What the hell? I was parachuting down. They shouldn't have shot me down. That's crazy. All right. Danny's here. Who is Danny? Well, we're going to go the hard way then. We need to talk. Oh, baby, we'll talk later on. I've got no time for that shit now. Yeah, let's, let's use the zip line. Please tell me there's another zip line. Yeah, there is. Oh, that's, that's not bad at all. I, I like it. Oh, every time they crack that finger, man, it's, it's uh, really painful to watch. And now we could get our car.
Let's grab a right. Let's grab the whip. Muchas gracias, amigo. Don't fuck with the seat. It's just how I like it. Hey, thanks. Really? Let's go. We're gonna drive through them fields, man. Oh, watch out for the trees, Danny. Wow, we, we nearly run into a uh, checkpoint or a truck or something. Baby Tigre, while you're at the facility, there's someone I want you to look for. Who? Her name's Gabriella. She's a girl from the fishing village. Used to bring us food and supplies. Lorenzo used to tease her for her tattoos and her crazy hair colors. We loved her visits. Until one day she told us she had some good news and said she'd be leaving Yara. That was the last time we saw Gabriella. My neighbor thought he saw her at that Biovira place. Tattoos and colorful hair. I'll keep an eye out for her. Gracias. I'm worried something terrible has happened. Okay, so we need to search the Biovida facility for evidence. And we use our phone. Oh, okay. Alright, that, that's fine. Let's take pictures. Gracias. I'm worried something terrible has happened. I'd rather watch myself here. Those look like cages. Hola, amigo. These people are sick. Really sick. Binga. That must be Gabriela. It's crazy, man. Binga. Binga. What the fuck are they doing to these poor people? I need more. Lo siento, Gabriela. Lo siento. Oh, shit. And they are dying, man. A bit crazy. Let's not attract any kind of attention. Castillo, you fucking monster. An alarm. Well, that was a bit useless. Just not. What is that? Oh man, I wanted to do it like the old style sort of a thing. See you there, amigo. Why can we just not like do some sort of a ghost of Tashima tackle? Somebody's there. Oh, they're coming through. Just have to let them come through. Is that a good or a bad idea? Oh shit. I'm here if you're looking for me, baby. Oh my god. I think I'm going to be sick. Castillo, you fucking monster. I need more pigs. I'm gonna burn it all the way down. At uh, this right. Oh. Sorry, amigo. Hope you get. You got anything here? No? Sorry, horse, I did not mean to shoot you at all. Found you. No, you haven't. Oh, I need to investigate her, I think. No? I don't need to. Go! 
Oh, hold on. Anyone else? Hey, I see I'm here, bro. How about you say hello to my little friend that's going to get you to burn? Oh, shit, there is a bloody grenade, man. What is going on here? How do I even get in there? Maybe from the top there is something? Sounds came from in there. I've got a bad feeling about this place. Wow, we've had a really bad feeling from the start. Let's face it, Danny. Seeing sick people being caged up like dogs. It's never going to be a good sign, is it, man? Definitely dead bodies there. How do I even get in? Can you hear that? Maybe it's on the next floor. All of this bullshit about treating cancer. What are they doing to these poor people? This should be enough to convince Lorenzo. Looks like they're doing some sort of an experiment. El Tigre. Oh shit! You won't believe what they're doing to our people. It's horrific. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what to tell you. She's gone. Uh, I had a feeling. Okay, get those photos back to camp. It's time for Lorenzo to wake up. Take that. Are you crazy? You gotta be crazy, man. Get your ass off here. Gone, you. Oh, where's our car? Still there. Beautiful. And while we're at it, we might as well refill. We need to go and speak to Lorenzo. I don't know why, but I feel like we've built some sort of a good relationship with this car. Obviously, it is the first car of the game. It's just, it just makes you feel really, really uh, attached to it. It's been with us so many rides from the beginning. Lorenzo, I took pictures of that place Horan was talking about. You swipe to the left. They look free to you. Man. This is what Liberta and La Moral are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste? That's the man. You shoot the tree. We shook the tree indeed. And here we go, fix or it didn't happen. It's now over. I really hope you have enjoyed this episode and I hope you are enjoying Far Cry 6. As 
we end the episode here and i hope i don't end the series as well because not many people are watching this series in specific really similar to hogwarts legacy maybe because this is a really older game so just to be very transparent this could be the last episode of this series but if you guys want me to carry on and just finish the whole game and do a full playthrough by all means drop this video a like and let me know in the comments below what you think of Far Cry 6 and if you do want me to do a full series of the game to carry on all the way to the end if not I'm gonna switch up maybe we're gonna play something new um, or maybe newer than Far Cry 6 but we'll see we'll see how it goes hopefully we'll get more views than usual just because i don't know man i just don't want to keep boring you with fire cry 6 if you guys are not enjoying it in an absolute nutshell either way i'll see you a lot later bye bye